In 2018, Incat Crowber were approached to develop a new ship, specifically to serve the Balearic Islands in Spain. The design was driven by Balearia's operational requirements rather than fitting to an existing shipyard design. There were multiple challenges to overcome, including powering the ship with LNG to reduce emissions. The mission was to carry 1,200 passengers and 450 cars from Denia to Ibiza and on to Mallorca, with each leg taking two hours. This meant an operating speed of 35 knots and integration with existing shoreside infrastructure to minimise docking times. The use of LNG fuel required integration of tanks and dual fuel engines. The ship's facilities included separate passenger seating cabins, multiple bars, a market and food court, a kindergarten and an outdoor terrace. There are also kennels to allow travellers to bring their pets and electric vehicle charging stations. Boarding is by way of QR codes on passengers' mobile devices. Eleanor Roosevelt was built in Europe at Astieros Armon, reducing the costs associated with owner oversight, management and a long delivery voyage. Incat Crowther's design process, developed over the construction of 600 ships, set a course from preliminary design through to production. The key aspects were split across multiple design teams. The design process follows a sequence with multiple checkpoints to ensure everything is included at the right stage. This process has proven very robust in integrating new technologies. There was scope to bring fresh thinking to the operational challenges with this type of ferry. We made the hulls longer and further apart at the waterline. This was the most efficient way to carry the required machinery and payload. There was an iterative preliminary design process which looked at many different solutions spiralling in on the final concept. Eleanor Roosevelt is the first high-speed Ropax ferry to operate with dual-fuel reciprocating engines. Compared to conventional diesel engines, these are physically larger and heavier. The dual-fuel engines weigh 93 tonnes each and the LNG tanks measure 22 metres long. Different hull options were considered to fit the LNG tanks and maximise maintenance space around the engines. At 35 knot speed, this size hull is operating close to its hump speed. Incat Crowther tested several concepts using CFD to arrive at the final reverse bow design you see in operation. The centre bow was iterated, with the design taking into account the operation's sea conditions and the loadings induced into the hull structure. Final candidates were verified using model tank testing. On final sea trials, Eleanor Roosevelt achieved the predicted service speed of 35 knots. Eleanor Roosevelt's LNG system reduces CO2 emissions by 30%, NOx by 35%, and eliminates sulphur and other particulates when compared with diesel. Use of the fuel presented a unique set of challenges. We're handling large, pressurised, supercooled LNG tanks that are capable of maintaining the temperature of minus 165 degrees C and must fit safely within the vessel. The system is fully integrated and complies with IGF code requirements. The LNG bunkering and handling systems are isolated from all passenger spaces. Airlocks are employed at critical locations and venting is kept remote from passengers and crew. The ship was built using modular construction with a total of 15 modules coming together on the slipway to form the ship's structure. To achieve the required performance, we had to minimise weight during design and construction. At the same time, we had to ensure the ship was robust to withstand the significant loads when operating in a harsh marine environment. Incat Crowther's structures team set to work on digital models to simulate the loadings. In collaboration with our suppliers, we developed custom aluminium sections utilising high-strength marine-grade aluminium alloys. These weight-saving sections were designed with both strength and fabrication in mind, improving construction time. The structure was designed, but the job didn't stop there. Our process allowed us to develop an accurate weight budget. During construction, we followed a detailed weight monitoring and control program to ensure the desired outcomes were achieved. The main structure of Eleanor Roosevelt was crowned by the addition of the final two modules, making up the resiliently mounted deck house that reduces noise in the passenger spaces. The ship was completed in 24 months and successfully entered service just five days after delivery. Adolfo Utor, the president of Valeria, has high praise, stating the ship is technologically a jewel and 
The results in navigability, comfort, vibrations and the acoustics of this Spanish prototype, as well as the acceptance by the users, are exceptional. The passengers of Eleanor Roosevelt endorse the Bellaria service with a very good evaluation. According to surveys conducted, Eleanor Roosevelt was rated with a 9.2 and a loyalty rate of almost 100%. This fast ferry has allowed the shipping company to save more than 3,300 tonnes of CO2 emissions in the first three months. This innovative ship will annually reduce carbon dioxide emissions equivalent to planting almost 27,000 trees.